brain cooling not useful for injured brain. Two million people experience traumatic brain injury worldwide each year, mostly as a result of road accidents or falls. It takes away 50,000 lives and causes 80,000 people to suffer long-term disability. The death and disability is mainly due to tremendous increase in the pressure inside the head. So, the primary aim is to reduce the intracranial pressure and protect the brain. Reducing the body temperature is widely used in many intensive care units, presuming it reduces the pressure inside the head. A new study has found that induced hypothermia did not reduce brain swelling in head injury patients. Professor Peter Andrews, head of critical care medicine at the University of Edinburgh, presented the findings at the European Society of Intensive Care Medicine Annual Congress in Berlin on October 7, 2015. They will also discuss the results of the trial at the Neurocritical Care Society Annual Meeting in Scottsdale, Arizona, USA on October 9. Induced hypothermia involves cooling the body between 2 and 5 degrees below normal body temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. They are kept cool using cold water blankets or cooling pads for at least 48 hours, after which they are gradually rewarmed to normal body temperature. This cooling actually increases patients' risk of death and disability, and should not be used to treat traumatic brain injuries. It is strongly linked to long-term disability and death following head injury. A major international study, led by the University of Edinburgh reviewed the outcomes of almost 400 cases of traumatic brain injuries from 18 different countries. The team found that induced hypothermia can successfully reduce brain pressure following trauma, but after six months functional recovery was significantly worse than standard care alone. The results of the Eurotherm 3235 trial were published in the New England Journal of Medicine on October 7, 2015. Thank you.